Early every evening during the month of Ramadan, there is a flurry of activity here at the Adams Center in Northern Virginia, one of the main mosques in the Washington area. Staff and volunteers rush to prepare the snack to break the day's fast and the iftar meal that follows. In the last two or three years, the number of people who come to the mosque during Ramadan has increased sharply. Mosque leaders say this may be due to the current economic hard times. I think it possib- possibly reflects the, the, the economic situation that uh, the community faces because we have seen an uh, up uh, rise in the number of people coming in for, uh, for zakah also, for uh, fitra and zakat. Uh, the charity. The mosque may be overflowing with worshippers, but it's a welcome problem. It's a month of uh, blessings, it's a month of coming together, it's a month of uh, praying, it's a month of fasting. And fast is a a unique ibadah or unique um, uh, ritual that make you feel how those who are unfortunate, who cannot afford, how do, would they feel when they're hungry, when they're thirsty, when they're deprived? The Muslims who live here typically say they look forward to the holy month of Ramadan. Everybody come to the masjid. Is your family here too? Yeah, they, they are here. They, they eat downstairs. It's an exciting time for the kids because they get to see their friend more often and eat together every day. And he says, just like in Mecca, here in America, you mix with Muslims from all around the world. Um, we have people from everywhere. Um, I'm from Egypt. There is people from Syria, Afghanistan, from every, from everywhere. So it's, it's it's a little different than you celebrate it at your home or between your family because over here is like the big celebration of of all Muslim coming together. Muslims are a minority in America, yet many say there are certain advantages to worshiping here. In Pakistan, mostly uh, women don't don't go to masjids. So uh, uh, you do iftar at home, you do uh, maghrib at home, you taraweeh at home, and your husbands and brothers and fathers, they go to masjid and come back from taraweeh. But here we all do together, like, you know, um, we come here, so we feel like it's like uh, Ramadan is here. Our kids, like, my girls are so excited. Her 10-year-old daughter fasts too. Is that difficult for, for a 10-year-old girl? Um, at first it was, but now it's kind of, uh, I'm getting used to it, and it's not uh, hard anymore. Mariam is homeschooled. But most Muslim children in America attend public schools and live similar lives to their non-Muslim friends. Um, Ramadan is a really good time to like, put away all the distractions in your life. Like I stopped playing video games in Ramadan. So instead of playing video games, you can read Quran, memorize something that you wouldn't usually do if it wasn't Ramadan. Mohammed says when he told his American friends he would be observing Ramadan, they reacted positively. Actually, um, one day before Ramadan, um, I was playing. Um, it was this game that I was playing. I had lots of friends on that video game, so I sent them a text message saying I won't be playing for a month because it's Ramadan. I explained to them what Ramadan was, and th- surprisingly, they they understood. I didn't expect them to understand, but they understood. There is a large degree of religious freedom in America, something that many Muslims here say they appreciate. This American man came to the mosque to publicly convert to Islam. Did anyone coerce you? The imam asks out loud. No, says the man. I am here of my own free will. From time to time there is opposition to the building of a new mosque, but more and more mosques are opening across the country. This mosque now operates 10 prayer centers across the Washington area. One is located in a Christian church building, and two others are in rented space in Jewish houses of worship. So uh, we are so blessed that we have two of our uh, branches uh, in synagogues, and we share the same premises with them, one in Reston and one in Ashburn. At dusk, the more than 60 mosques in the Washington area fill up as worshipers come to pray and break their daily fast together. This mosque reports a big increase in the number of people who come for the daily iftar meal, perhaps a result of the economic downturn of the last two years. For Ramadan Around the World, this is Burton Bolag in Washington.